Hi guys, it's me Emily, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I've done a, a video of you watching me do anything like a watch with work video, so today I'm going to be doing some swatch end views. I'm really excited about it actually because um, I received my order from the Nail Cakery and I've never had anything from them before. I've wanted to buy from them for a very long time. And uh, yeah, I recently placed an order with them so it's finally come through. And I am really excited to swatch the colours because they look amazing on the bottles <laughs> and obviously on the page and on the website when I ordered them. But as we all know, they look different in person and on swatches, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to use some of these swatch sticks from the Gel Obsession because I think they're awesome. I decided to use the natural ones rather than the clear ones um, just because I think some of these colours that I've got are quite um, they like glitters and they look a bit more like translucent based. So I just thought they'd show up better on this colour rather than clear. Could be wrong, but anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So <clears throat> these ones, they've got, uh, they're like keys. They're like keys. Can you see? Oh, wrong way. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys. Yeah, I've, I've messed up my um, tripod and stuff recently. That's why I haven't been doing a lot of videos. It put me off because I couldn't figure out how to get it back to how it was. And I've just now figured out how to get this one looking here, if that makes sense. Yes, it's all a little bit weird to me still. I'm not used to it properly, so yeah, I'm going to use these key ones. They're um, almond shaped key swap sticks. Um, I've also got the bow ones, but I don't know if I'm going to need it. I can't, to be honest with you, I can't remember how many um, sticks there are here, so I'm just going to pop them there and I'm just going to use them until they run out. <laughs> right, um, I'll show you what I got. So. Well, as you can hear, I just dropped some uh, another pack of swatch sticks on the floor. It wouldn't be me without some sort of clumsy ridiculousness, so here we go. At least they're not broken. Touch wood. Right, so yeah, this is what I bought. This is what I ordered. This is the um, cuticle oil. Um, it's called Unicorn Cupcake, I believe, and it's got a lot of good stuff in it. Mineral oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, caprylic, capric, or saprylic, cyprylic, I don't know how you say that. <laughs> Trigger, this was supposed to be a good thing, which actually made me look stupid, hasn't it? Anyway, something with lima tea, sesame oil, jojoba seed oil, olive oil, vitamin E, vitamin A, essential oil, and magic. It has magic in it, peeps. And honestly, I smelled it yesterday. It smells absolutely amazing. Cupcake, unicorn or unicorn cupcake. One of those two. So there's that fabulousness. I got a rubber base coat. Which I won't be swatching because I don't think there's a lot of point because it's just going to be clear, obviously. And I got a top coat. Ew. I love their packages. I mean, everything smells like cake. It's weird. It all smells like cupcakes or vanilla. It's very, um, very strange but nice. Yeah, as you can see, I've got some colours, but most of these colours are glittery. Um, I think you can see the lids on these on the top, so you can see the different colours that are in there. Be better on the swatches. So yeah, I'm going to show you those a second. I'm just going to go ahead and start swatching. I'm just going to put the clearer ones. There. That one's quite clear as well. And these ones, oh, and that one. Got some really, I mean, they're beautiful, they're like really light shades, but they're so pretty, honestly. I mean, look, you can't really see it properly, probably, that's why. But yeah, it's, it's amazing. Right, so let's get started. I'll start with this one. Does it say the colours? Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. Hmm, I wonder how you know what colours what. It doesn't actually have a number or anything on it. Let's start with the number. Oh, hang on. They do have numbers on the base, different numbers. So this says number four on the base. I don't know if that's the shade it is. <clears throat> mm, it's like a pistachio with glitter in it. Really pretty. Let me see. Ooh. Can you see it? I really like green, very, very pretty. Let's get to there a second. Jiggle it up, I don't want it to knock over. And the next one, I will grab 
this one which says number three on the base. This is more of like a, it's still a pastel green, but it's like um, a turquoise sort of shade rather than mint. It's got little flecks of glitter in it as well. I don't know if you can see that very well on there. The lighting isn't very good. Put that there as well. Next colour is this one. This is like um, what's the word? But it shines different colours. It's got a different shift, like colour shift, and the greeny, like aquary colour. But it shines purple. Oh, it's so pretty! Oh my goodness, this is amazing. It's like a unicorn colour, unicorn slash mermaid. Wow, that is so beautiful. Oh, I wish you could see this like I can in person. It's so pretty. There, and that was number 10, pop number 10 there, is this one next, this is number 14, which is like, looks like a blue, a blue glittery, glittery blue, oh wow, oh my goodness, that is stunning, ah, the glitter in it is like, um, a rainbow coloured glitter and a light blue, Oh, this light is doing my head and it's flashing, isn't it? Sorry, guys. Maybe it can't handle the it can't handle the glitter in the polishes. It's freaking out. My light is freaking out. Next, we get into some pink. This is number oh, is that a six or a nine? I'm gonna say number nine. I'm gonna go with nine. <clears throat> oh wow, that is beautiful colour. Still pink again with flecks of glitter. You only need one coat, these are well, very pigmented. These are pastel shades. Obviously, the glittery ones are more and translucent, they're supposed to be. Yeah, the pastel shades are definitely more pigmented. So you don't need more than one coat of those. Um, on to the next one, it's like a peachy colour. Number 10. Hang on, that can't be 10. No, see, I knew these colours were wrong. Yeah, I had a 10 on it as well. See, here I am wrong about the shades. I don't actually know how you find out what shades what. I presume you just go from the lid. You must do. I'll have to look online and sort of figure out what the colours are. Wow, this is amazing. This pastel peach. Wow. With the glitter in as well. It's so beautiful. Orangey peach colour. Oh, I'll put some of these in the lamp. I'm gonna pop some in the lamp while I'm thinking about it. I've also, after I've done this swatching video, I've also got my order through from Nail Reserve LA, um, which is really exciting because they weren't sending to the UK. For the longest time, they only delivered to the USA and Canada. And I managed to figure out from them that they were about to start sending to the UK. Um, so I placed an order with them, but then they did have issues sending it here. So it took a little while to get here to be dispatched and whatnot. But it finally got dispatched and I received it. So I'm going to be able to swatch those for you guys. Which is exciting. I've not actually seen anyone use that brand yet. So hopefully they do continue sending to the UK because... That would be cool if I could get stuff from them regularly because they've always got amazing deals in emails and stuff and I'm hoping they're good quality when I test them out. And here we go with another beautiful pink. Oh wow, this is a lovely shade of pink. It's still a pastel. But it's not got the glittery specks in it. So it's just like a, there you go, one coat done. So pretty. Really pretty pink. So, so amazing, I'm so happy. Honestly, you don't understand how long I've wanted to get something from these guys. Before I started learning nails, like years ago, I've been watching their, their page and taking screenshots of their nails and their colours and their glitter mixes and just the different acrylics and stuff. And oh, wow, this one is amazing. It's like got, I'll show you, it's a purple, like a purple base, translucent purple, like a jelly. And it's got these amazing, wow, 
the glitter that's in it is um let's describe it like not neon is it neon it's bright colorful glitter specks through it like different colors if you can see it's like oranges and blues and greens so beautiful that is a stunning color you can see if you can see it properly but yeah amazing color and then once all these glitters here Oh, sorry, <laughs> this one is like a, just a silver glitter, I think. Wow, say just a silver glitter. No, it's a grey. The glitter is amazing. My gosh. So beautiful. Well, I can't wait to use these, you know, to make Halloween glittery. I'm going to bring some Halloween glitter. <coughs> Let me just stick together. That's really pretty because it's like a grey with the silver flecks for it, so it'll be good for Halloween-y. Halloween-y Halloween sets. And this is a clear from the looks of it with, um, looks a bit like, um, tiny little bits of Mylar going for it. A rainbow minor flakes. Oh wow. That would make an amazing top coat all by itself. Look. The glitter shines all different colours, rainbows. Rainbow colour glitter. You can't see it. Really frustrating. Wish I could let sh let you all see it properly. If you can see it in the lid. No, it's not as do the same. But yeah, I think it's you can, oh there you go, you can see all the different colours there. Greens and purples and blues. Absolutely amazing, really, really beautiful. So I've only got four left to do. <coughs> this one looks like a peachy pink, Ooh, but it's more like a jelly. Yeah, it's like a jelly pink with beautiful silver glitter going through it. There you go. Let's see. I'll show you there. see it's an amazing pink with shimmery glitter uh, um, next one this one is again like a jelly it looks like a jelly pink this one's got like gold colored glitter going for it more gold colors oh no this isn't a jelly this is a proper glittery polish it's not a jelly base so beautiful. See all the glitter in it. Wow. The light keeps freaking out, it's quite funny. I mean I wish it wasn't freaking out, but at the same time it's like wow, it's so glittery you can't handle it. Can you see the gold glitter going for it? So pretty. I would recommend going to these guys, honestly. Nail cakery. Amazing. It's amazing. And it all smells lovely as well. I can still smell that cupcake. <laughs> I can still smell the cupcake cuticle oil. <clears throat> This one is a jelly base, like a jelly style base with, um, I don't know what colour the glitter is, one second. It's a really pale pink but it's beautiful like a natural, that would be lovely on its own. Really lovely for natural, like many. And the glitter in it is like a, you know, just like a white or silver glitter so you can't really see it standing out loads, it just makes it really shimmery. Very nice. <coughs> shimmery glittery light pink very beautiful nude color and last but not least we have this clear which has got blue and orange and pink and green glitter in it if you can see that I'm just gonna swatch that one did I do this one I did didn't I yeah that was the gold one oh that was the gold one I've already done oh, I'd missed one this has got bits of white in it as well, so it might not show up great on this uh, natural tip. Um, oh, it's got black specks too. Oh, wow, so many different colours in this. Amazing. This would be great for Easter as well and Christmas. Super pretty. 
really lush. So yeah, that's all of those swatched and honestly, I am so so over the moon with this order. And it ha they again, they do really good deals as well. It's a really really good deal. Um, the top coat doesn't smell very strong, which is good. And the rubber base. It's a nice consistency, it's not too thick, not too thin. But yeah, impressed with that too. And again, not strong smelling. So yeah, um, that is everything swatched. And hopefully you can see all the amazing colours in a minute. I'll put them all together for you. Right guys, so that's everything swatched and together there. You can see amazing, absolutely amazing colours. And also, I had a surprise when I put them in the lamp. All of them, because two of them... I've got an amazing effect that I didn't see until now, <laughs> didn't realise. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, like I say, how you find out the names. I have got a list of all the things I ordered. So it might be that it's on that list, on the piece of paper. I might tell you what they're called. No, see, they are, they're just called numbers. They're called different numbers. If I can show you. So, like, they're called Kate Glaze NC725 or Kate Glaze NC723. Um, so... Yeah, I can put those codes in the description. But yeah, if you go to the uh, this website... Oh, it does say... Anyway, yeah, no. If you go to the website, you can basically just choose your colours. I think that's the best way to do it because... Um, to be honest, I can't remember which one's which for all of them. <laughs> Some of them are quite similar bases, so um, I'm no good for that. Right, one second, let me show you. Turning that off. And I bring these two over here quickly and look, they glow in the dark. See them? Absolutely beautiful. One and two. And that was the two with the colour glitter going through them. So yeah, that was a nice surprise because I love a bit of glow in the dark, as you can probably tell from other nail sets I've posted. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this swatch video. And I'll be back later to swatch some Nail Reserve LA products. So I love you lots and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!